Hello, this is Modern Master Art, and this is my 22 hour long drawing of Albert the Miniature Schnauzer. Um, this is done for a lady who I know called Joan, who commissioned me to do this picture. And I loved drawing this picture because um, I was given a selection of photographs of Albert, who um, on every single one of them, there was either there was about six or seven photographs. And honestly hand on heart i could have picked any one of them because they were all stunning there was a few where he was a pup really fluffy dead cute um real photogenic dog and in the end i picked this one because it was a full profile a full portrait and it has him sort of looking meaningfully into the middle distance um it looks like a model dog uh, it's the sort of thing you'd have on a tin of dog food you know what i mean he's he's uh, that photogenic so yeah, this took me 22 hours to do, and it took me longer to do than your average dog portrait. The reason being, he's a schnauzer, and his coat, he's got uh, he's got curly fur, he's got a curly coat. So rather than just doing the straight lines and the fur, which takes a lot of time anyway, doing the intertangled bits of fur and over his paws, the detail on that, you can't just hide that. If you're going to do it, you have to do the detail well. So this took longer than it would have done had it been a dog which had a straight coat but had it the fact that it's got this curly coat you can see the detail in it a lot better um yeah it takes time and you have to plan how you do it you have to just look at the the shapes of the curls you can't just estimate it because if you look at it against the original photograph it's gonna look poor if it's not exactly like or as near as you can get to the actual the pattern on the fur so i think if you look at this and you probably see on the video on the time lapse itself you can see i've got the phone there uh using some close-ups as reference so i can uh so i can get the the detail just right on his on his uh legs and his paws um you've got to get it right otherwise it looks terrible so i didn't put a background on it because again with most pet portraits you want to focus on the dog and nothing else really so like with a lot of them i tend to do sort of a, a bit of a a bit of a fake shadow so to speak so that it just gives a bit of context to the drawing and it shows him in a bit more of a a 3d aspect so yeah it's uh it's one that i really enjoyed doing and as i say i could have picked any one of his photographs to do and uh yeah as with all pets this is it's one of my favourite things to do. I love drawing animals, and I've said it loads of times, but I'll say it again. I love drawing animals. So that is him pretty much completed. And, yeah, there he is. That's the still photograph. So you get an idea with all the detail. I uh, love doing it, and I would appreciate, as always, if you like, share, and subscribe. And please, um, yeah, as I say, share to as many people as you can. Subscribe. I'll be back again soon with some more content. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.